Okay, so I'm back out here with this British Bulldog. It's in 44. And I've loaded up some rounds here, so we'll see what happens. I uh, I had to work on the trigger group a bit. It's a double action only, and it wasn't pulling back the hammer reliably. Uh, it still has a bit of a reset problem. It's not a strong enough spring in here to reset the trigger. So you'll probably see me pushing it forward. I don't know if it's going to hit any steel. I'm pretty far back from the steel here. Probably uh, 15 to 20 yards away. But let's see what we can do. Locked up. That's the last round. So, didn't hit any targets. I think I have to, uh, Probably just shave. Uh, I'm using 44 mag in there. The uh, they don't go all the way to the cylinder. Uh, I don't know they're pretty flat there, but I think probably what I have to do is just sh shave down the uh, the casing a bit because it's just a bit tight. It's getting hard to hard to pull it. That was five. Uh, there was, you know, it's a six shooter or five. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. That's yeah, five shooters. So I got four in there. Yeah. I just want an empty chamber. Not that it matters so much at the range, but I was having a hard time getting the the last shell in that one uh, cylinder. It's just a bit uh, hard to get the brass in. Didn't want to seat it all the way. Anyways, that's it. Nice, uh, fun little antique. Not something I'm going to shoot every day, but uh, I thought I'd bring it out and shoot it again. Who, who knows uh, when the last time this was shot? Probably made in, you know, 1890 or so. Maybe somebody that knows more about these bulldogs will be able to chime in and say. But uh, yeah, neat little gun. And, uh, might take it out again sometime in the future. Cheers, guys.